We're going to be doing a quick bike check on my Haro Steel Reserve 1.1 Dirt Jumper. This is a single speed hardtail generally used for dirt jumping and skate park riding. This is a bike that you can throw around and generally not exactly care about breaking anything on the bike because it is so simply built. The Reserve 1.1 is the lowest end model in Haro's freestyle mountain bike category series. Just because this bike is the lowest end model in Haro's freestyle mountain bike categories does not mean it is a bad bike at all. Just along by upgrading the fork, this can become a very good bike for the price itself. The fork I'm currently running is RockShox Argyle Fury 2 with 100 mils of travel and has a coil spring. The bike came standard with a rigid fork, however in my opinion that is not the best for dirt jumping on, so I replaced it for my RockShox Argyle. However, there are a lot of other forks you can replace with such as a Manatee Circus or a Marzo GDJ3. This bike generally costs $550 retail, however, I picked it up for only $250 off the bike. I had to meet up with the guy, but it was a very good price, and I've upgraded a lot of parts on it to make it worth the money. I replaced the stock brakes, which protector areas with Kangol disc brakes. However, in my opinion, those are not the best for dirt jumping, they are very scary to stop with. So I replaced them with some very affordable hydraulic disc brakes. They're Clark's M2s, and they're around $30 off Chain Reaction. These brakes work surprisingly well and make you stop very fast. They almost work just as well as my Tektra Gemini's. Another thing I replaced on this bike is the front wheel. It used to be a Wyman XM260 which was the stock wheel, but I replaced it for my GT Swiss 340 rim with GT Swiss 340 21-3 axle hub. This is a very strong wheel and hub combination for this bike, so I'd only highly recommend it and it was very strong and very affordable. I've long since replaced the pedals, which used to be well go platform pedals which are made out of metal. These were okay pedals, but they always give you really bad cuts in your shins when they slammed into them. I've replaced them with Odyssey Twisted Pedals. I have these on my BMX and they work very well, and they have a lot of grip, so I'd only hire a mech when these two. As for the tires I'm currently using, I'm running Maxxis Holy Rollers, and they're really good for street and dirt riding. However, I would like to replace them for Maxxis DTH tires, since they have the really cool skin wall look. Overall, I would recommend this bike very well. If you can pick it up for the retail price, I would suggest it. However, if you can get it for even lower, then go for it. This is a very good bike and you can make a lot of upgrades to make it very worth the price. If there is one thing I would not like about this bike, it's the fact that the hub sound is extremely quiet. However, I hope to upgrade it to a Halo Spin Doctor, which is a $60 hub off chain reaction. It's very affordable and it sounds really great. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.